the now the uh, man trap has given us access and we are inside the uh, seventh floor. Uh, this is the fourth floor of the building, uh, which has got a massive size of 44,000 square feet. And uh, this is uh, divided into five halls. And as per the SLA with the customer, we are supposed to maintain these halls at 22 degrees centigrade. But we have equipment inside which is generating a lot of heat. So how do we remove the heat? So we have these machines which are lining on both sides of the corridor. These are called the PAHO machines or the Precision Air Handling Unit, PAHU PAHO machines, which are manufactured by Schneider. So we have these machines uh, all across the floor. They receive the hot air from the top. They take it through the machine, cool it down and send it back again under the floor. And the cooling is done by the water in these pipes under the floor. And when we go to the chiller platforms on top, we will see these pipes coming up there. The cold water coming into the pipes and the hot water coming out of the pipes back again to the chillers here. These uh, containment units. The cold air is coming from under the floor and it's getting into the system here. These are racks which contain our equipment and wherever we require uh, cold air, we replace the normal tile with a perforated tile and the air comes from inside and gets into the rack and cools the system. So this is called a cold air containment. And on top of the rack, we have these uh, sensors which set information to the VMS room. So we have seen this information in the VMS room. It comes from these sensors here. Because the hot air is coming out from behind these racks. So this is called the hot aisle. And this air is pulled in by the PAHO machine fans, gets cooled and again comes under the floor. So we are on the 14th floor of the building which is the terrace floor. So this is the water distribution floor where we get the hot water from the server floor and send it up to the chiller, which is above us. Or we take the cold water from the chiller and send it down to the floor below us. So the best advantage we have is inside all these uh, pipes, we have a water leak detection cable which has been installed. So if there is a water which is leaking, this can be detected and information can be sent to the BMS room. Uh, we have three tanks behind us and we have three tanks in that corner. So this is uh, six tanks on one side of the building and six tanks on the other side of the building. Uh, the function of these tanks is quite unique. We call them the thermal storage units. What happens is uh, if your utility power fails, the signal goes out to the generator to start the generator and the generator gives you power in about 30 seconds, after which the chillers will now come on it takes about 120 seconds to start up and come to full capacity. So for those two and a half to three minutes, I got to keep my server hall at 22 degrees centigrade. And the cold water is coming in from this particular floor. So at this point, we have those red pumps behind us, which are the secondary pumps. You can see the secondary pumps there. Those secondary pumps are all on UPS. So those pumps, even during the power cut, will keep on working. Those pumps now will pump water inside these thermal tanks. Uh, this water is at 15 degrees centigrade. So this water is pumped down into the floor for the PAHO machines to do their work. When the power comes back, the chiller takes over the uh, cooling function, sends the cold water down to the floor, at the same time replaces the water which was lost from these thermal tanks. This is something like the battery you have in your UPS. So these are the thermal tanks, three on one side and three on the other. And again, this six replicated on the other side. So this is actually a floor A plus floor B, uh, two sections, which can be operated either as A or B or A and B as a combination. It's a grated floor. If you look down, you can find that air to come from below and get to the cooling systems here behind me. These are the chillers we have on the terrace. They're all from Schneider and they're all 400 chillers, FR chillers here. We have eight numbers installed here at the moment. And as the load of the building goes up, we'll have additional chillers come up. Uh, there are two power supplies here and there is a possibility to switch over from A side to B side if you have power loss in one side. These are all meant for outdoor applications. So uh, these are all data center specific chillers and uh, these are all adiabatic chillers. You can see these red nozzles here. What happens is in summer when the air temperature goes very high, we can send out a fine mist of water from these nozzles into the surrounding air here. 
So the air gets cooled down say from 38 degrees to 32 degrees before it actually hits the condenser coils here. So these are called the adiabatic chillers. There are some specific chillers from Schneider.